everybody. This is the midweek review, Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. And as promised, I always come on here and do the halfway point. And even though tomorrow is, is Thanksgiving, which is a holiday, this has been a very busy and productive week. So I want to talk about the top five things that's happened since the week ahead to right now. So number one, I just received my Gray Campus webinar link for seven uh, reasons to use project management for cybersecurity. And this webinar, which is free, by the way, December 3rd, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, is so appropriate, especially as we're coming into the Christmas season, which is your highest uh, purchasing season. You have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and everyone will be whipping out their credit cards. Online shopping is a significant part of Christmas shopping. And you want to make sure that you're protected. So cybersecurity is at the top of everyone's list. I'm very happy to partner with Great Campus. They helped me uh, a lot with this webinar. So I am going to make sure that's extremely relevant. As I mentioned, it's free. It's seven reasons to use project management with cybersecurity. Um, as I mentioned last week, I did do an idle training through them. They're professional a certification and you know this free webinar is just very much needed as I mentioned especially since online Christmas shopping is significant and it grows and it grows every single year so I'll drop the link in the description for the free sign up but join me this upcoming Tuesday December 3rd 2019 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time just register for the webinar and I hope to see you in the audience. Number two is I'm getting new work, which is a great thing. So I'm referencing the week ahead video again, which I will link to this video so you can find it in the description. And I talked about having two phone interviews as well as the webinar dry run. Well, I did have the webinar dry run on Tuesday and a phone interview on Monday, but that just means that I was I kept going all the way up until the uh, the holiday, and that's huge because there were still people working. There's still work to be done. Furthermore, I'm grateful that by having my project management professional, my IELTS certification, that a, that a lot of the work that I can do is not indicative based on the business cycle or the calendar. So as I mentioned before, I'm very happy to have those certifications because I'm still getting work. Like I'm still getting webinars in December where the conventional wisdom is that after this week, everyone's looking to 2020 in the new year. I'm still getting opportunities. I'm very grateful for that. And that ties into uh, number three, which is if you need to get certified for project management or IT service management, I still have my calendar open for December. You can get in touch with me at carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact. You can also go on my uh, work tab page or samples and look at the work that I do. Uh, that is significant in that area. As I mentioned before, I love to teach because I'm getting so much mileage out of both project management and IT service management certifications. And just the fact that you can get jobs at any time of the calendar year and it's not contingent upon what's in the economy, that's all the more reason to end 2019, not just 2019, but this decade in a better professional position and idle and project management professional certification can increase that opportunity not just for 2020 but in all new decades so once again you can get in touch with me at carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact if you need to finish your project management or it service management by the end of this year number four is it just happened today, but I am grateful to receive 2,475 LinkedIn followers. As I mentioned, my goal is to get 2,500 followers by the end of this month, which is an ambitious goal. But I am a business blogger with CarlaRJenkins.com. Also, LinkedIn is the business social media. And what I like about it is a lot of people are seeking me out, like just 
this quick. And I do feel it's because of the um, it's because of the fact that I am doing a lot of work, especially with Idol Four. Uh, people are seeing my posts. I put. I post it regularly on LinkedIn Post, which is the blogging apparatus. I just posted something new about the top five lessons learned from my um, idle training trip for DC. And I feel that's the reason why people view me as an expert and as an authority in those areas. And I'm getting a lot of mileage out of LinkedIn. Moreover, what I'm grateful for is with LinkedIn that I get to learn a whole lot about my profession as well as other professions. So just to be able to grow my LinkedIn and to be 25 followers away from 2,500, that is great. And I am truly appreciative for all the community support. And then number five is um, still, as I mentioned before, uh, even though I am still opening to teaching, I'm still writing even though I had enormous opportunity this November and NaNoWriMo, which is National Nami Writing Month, somewhat took a back seat and I'm still writing even though I'm not going to hit the 50,000 and I'm still going to ask about, you know, how to upload the, the menu uh, to get the manuscript. But I'm just happy I'm still writing, still posting things on my blog, still writing copy, promoting things, uh, doing video scripts. I am not done. I have so much to offer, and I'm extremely grateful for everybody who has supported me. So once again, this is the midweek. I will be coming back on Black Friday for the Week in Review. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I would like to thank all live and replay viewers for taking out the time to watch me on this video. I'll see everyone in the next live stream video. Have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving.